He got a girl. I'm taking school. He want us both. He's so unsure. Sometimes he's mine. Sometimes he's yours. But he back and he forth like a door in the store. Riding his mouth. Take him on tour. Hit him up when I want him like Tupac Shakur. Said he never seen nothing wetter before. It's fat and it's pretty. It's plausible tour. Okay, guys. I feel like if I don't pull... I was like, if you don't pull out that camera right now, bitch, you're never going to do it. So, let me just show you my views because welcome if you are new to the channel i just want to say welcome welcome to my channel my name is sasha and also known as flaws flaws couture and i am in okay come on come on come on watch me struggle with this now where do you think i am y'all where do you think the... oh shoot i didn't even know we had a pool Oh, I, babe. Oh, I'm gonna be out here. I am. I knew. I knew it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. <laughs> I'm in Ghana. <laughs> and this time, I'm in Ghana for some time. Oh, look at me. I look pretty. Even though I have an asteroid of a pimple right here, I'm trying to like let it come up so i can <clears throat> but yes i already did my hair you're probably like you didn't even show us but i feel like you guys are used to me getting my hair done you can go on my instagram you can go on my tiktok i will always have a ton of videos and stuff for you guys to see there but this is this is the vlogs are for my real like you know what i mean my my ogs my people who really try to follow me like for real for real you know um yeah so i'm getting ready i'm not going to talk off your ear i'm taking you guys with me to rhythms on the runway which is a huge fashion show production here in ghana it is put on by kod who is a great friend of my boyfriend um but outside of him being a great friend of my boyfriend he is like a huge figure here in ghana um well respected highly respected and um yeah I have some front row seats, me and my girls. So I'm gonna try and get my dress together. I'm gonna go run shower so my can be fresh and nice. Do a little beat, nothing too crazy because it's an outdoor venue and I don't wanna sweat and look like one dog. Um, but I'm excited. So let me go get ready. You'll see the fit. We'll meet with the girls. We'll get that front row access and you guys will see. Also, because there is a high chance that I will be shooting my next collection i know you guys have been waiting for so long because there's a huge chance that i'll be shooting my next collection here in ghana which excites me um i'm gonna be scouting while i am looking at this runway i'm gonna need you guys to help me also potentially uh pick out who you think would be a perfect model i'm looking for a fire plus model outside of myself and um a straight size model as well and even a guy so let's see i'm a tad bit annoyed because the girls are lying okay literally i have been trying to re-up on my until dawn um setting spray for months and it seems as though uh one size doesn't want to re-up in canada so it's been nowhere so i had to try the charlotte tilbury setting spray the same setting spray that everybody's always talking about saying whoop de whoop de woo your face doesn't move my daddy i look upon my face not a mirror and it's hot in here a little bit in the in the washroom the ac's not hitting in the washroom and the same spray what i'm saying now i'm gonna move i move the same makeup they said that wasn't gonna budge was budging and i haven't even left yet I had a little tear under my eye and the little the duct area started to like drip and look crazy and I'm like I spent so much money right and the girls are always lying why is everybody always lying like why don't you just say that the product like I so bad you want a free product them god I don't wanna lie I don't wanna lie until Dondo I don't know if he just doesn't care to let Canada have that anymore, but like, Patrick's, it's Patrick Star, right? 
Patrick Star. Yeah, Patrick Star. Patrick, if you're seeing this, Canada, Toronto specifically, Brampton specifically, needs their on till dawn setting spray, the big bottle. I don't want anything other than the big bottle. Honestly, I will settle for some travel sizes if that's all you got. But bitches should not have to struggle like this. Yeah, guys, I'm putting my... You're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and I am definitely putting my Vaseline cocoa that Michael put me on to. That I think this is only sold in the States. Um, between my legs so that I don't have a chub rub night. I'm going to show you the fit in just a second, too. So, in Ghana, not all pl places in Africa, I can't speak for all places in Africa, but in Ghana, I can say that time, them the not time. Them the not time. Okay? Their mentality overall, like, that's the thing. Like, I was trying to, like, I was told that we had to be at the spot for 6 o'clock. Like, come hell or high water, we had to be at the spot for 6 o'clock if we really wanted our front seats, okay? I've been saying this to them for six weeks. My boyfriend was able to get us some tickets. He purchased some tickets for us, for me and my girls. And I was like, listen, if we want to be in that front row, you need to make sure that you're on time. Now... They're like, oh, oh, I was like, no, this is serious. You need to be on time. Mind you, Eve is in her own world. She's like, oh, Ghana events don't start. I'm like, this is the problem. All of you guys think this way. This is why nothing ever happens in an appropriate time. If all of you guys are saying, oh, but Ghanaians never come on time, then none of you come on time every single time. And the event starts at six, but it's really not starting until nine. And that's crazy to me because for me, it's like, you're wasting my day you're wasting my time and wasted time is worse than wasted money because I could have been eating something right now I didn't have to be zipped up in this dress right now anyway babe calls me and's like don't we're delayed don't come until 7 30 7 45 so now and I don't even trust that time to be very honest so now we're here we have extra time Rennie's gonna meet me at the hotel I was thinking of bringing this camera because the quality, you know, I, the last vlog that I had, I was like, that quality is beneath me. Okay. <laughs> so I really wanted to bring my vlog camera, but to be very honest, this is not going to fit. It's not going to fit into this little pot and leather that I have. And I don't like to bag and pan with things. So I'm going to, you know, bring my other iPhone and then vlog that way, maybe and see how that goes and then yeah let me show you this fit i need to wipe this oil off of my hands and honestly i'm so nervous because my feet are very finicky very swollen -y. and uh, i'm not even gonna put no lip gloss on yet I'm not even going to put the gloss on yet. Hold on. Here. Oh, she's so pretty, isn't she? My mom is lucky, eh? I'm lucky. I'm blessed. I'm lucky too, though. He's a cutie. A sweetheart. Let's see if I can back up in the... Don't mind the room. Oh, this is not working. Am I even a vlogger? If I can't get this right. Look at the fit. Oh, I don't know. You guys, let me put you here. Hold on. Hold on. Pardon me a couple. Look at the ducks, the the ducks of my eyes. I need to reapply. It is hotter than Satan's toenails in here. I swear to you, I am coming out of this washroom immediately. This is the dress. This is the dress. 
it's long. Thin. Hopefully you guys can see it properly. It's really nice. Obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna, not obvious, but I'm gonna wear my hair down. Um, and then I'm gonna try and be a bad bitch and wear these patent leather cuties that I got from Torrid. They're so cute, they're chunky, but they're like really high and they're really cute. Um, and then it's gonna match my little patent leather bag, you know, keep it cute. One of people them from know say, <laughs> my man of a really natural pretty girl, so yeah. This is the patent leather bag I was talking about. It's cute, right? Dresses from Fashion Nova. Hopefully the background sound is not terrible because this fan is loud as hell. I'm wondering if I should put my hair in one, like how kind of like how it is now, or if I should leave it down. Something about it being down is very iconic. Not sure. Yeah. It's down. My my boyfriend deserves to see this walk in the door. <laughs> I deserve to see this walk through the door. The people deserve to see this walk through the door. I haven't put my lip gloss or anything on yet, but yeah. Right? Or maybe this side, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know yet, I don't know. This in the back. This in the front. Hair done by Buxley. Or maybe all of it to the back. What do you think? Ow, this thing is kind of digging me. Oh, don't you hate when like the corseted type um, shirts kind of like dig into your rolls? In the back? Oh, not nice. Cute little dress though. I was like, I think this is perfect for the event. Yeah, bitch. Eight down. Eight down. Okay? Yeah. Do any of you guys have friggin' swelling feet? Swelling feet when you travel? Oh my god. When I travel, I know that's quite common for a lot of people, but um, also when I'm in a really hot place, it's like the heat and my feet, oh my, oh my, I'ma just lay back, oh wait, let me be smart, put this back in a little pony, pony wony. I'm actually thinking about the fact that there's a couple of people that I know from Toronto who's, who are in Dubai right now and the plate of food that I saw from the Jamaican restaurant that they have over there looked really busted and it's really like living in my head rent free right now. I'm like, but my thing is, I don't really trust it and they're saying that it tastes really good so I'm like, really? Like, and these are Jamaican so I'm like, okay, if they're saying that the Dubai Jamaican food is tasting good then I'm gonna listen to them because Toronto really does have great Jamaican food, seeing that many of us are Jamaican. Um, but Ghana also has Jamaican restaurants and <laughs> I am sure I haven't tried all the Jamaican restaurants there are, there's not many. I'm sure that I haven't tried every single one so I don't want to say that they're all trash. But baby, they have the look down pat. Like you'll see the ackee and sawfish, or you'll see the jerk pork, but baby, what a catfish. Nothing like the actual flavor. It does not taste like it. Do not recommend. Nonetheless, it's hot, so we both have our fans. I think that is something that you must have when you're in Ghana. Okay, your fan. Um, and yeah, so once it starts, we'll let you. You guys will be in on all the fun. Ooh, I think it's true. Uh, they call themselves the entertainment scholars. I wish they could have. Canvas so fast. 
in the Aqua Edition Memories Cast. Submerged in echoes of a quantum grace, silent verses a watery embrace. A show where tides and words entwine. Even though I'm mad at her because she's been playing around. 
I've been getting all these little heat bumps on my face and I think it's because I put this new um, sunscreen on. Hopefully that's the case because I'm gonna stop using it. Anyway, let's go see what Mocha's is all about because she's obsessed with it. So let's see. That's fine. Okay. okay. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. Thank you. Rooftop views because that's what we deserve. love this and the seating is so beautiful it's like love seats well the one i'm sitting on is a love seat kind of like that so eve is late as she always is she's gonna watch this vlog and she's gonna be like oh my god well don't set up anything having to do with time when it comes to eve love her but time is not her thing obviously you can tell i'm annoyed um but still love her regardless i'm here just waiting for her um i have something else to do so i might just order without her because at this point i'm so oily i've been it's this sunscreen that i've been putting on and these creams and it's making like little but i look so pretty I see what this is. I'm coming there. I want to take a video of her. Take a video of me for what? For what? Like. Gosh, why is the Ghana skin skinning on you? First of all, why are you late? I wasn't late. I told you I wasn't going to get I don't want to hear it at this you, point. You saw me. I don't want to hear you. Thank you so much, sis. I like no, your hair. Nobody not draw. It's, there's something about you that's queening because nobody ever opened up. Nobody not um, <laughs> open up. Pull up my chair for me. <laughs> I have to pull up my own chair. So, so, who, so basically, we're not vlogging each other. Is that what we're trying to do? Yeah, right? yeah. Like what the yeah, heck? We're definitely vlogging each other. <laughs> I'm done with you. You can never be done with me. We're cousins forever. <laughs> we're black. Okay. Something tropical. What do you recommend, my friend? Uh, for you. For me, um, something refreshing, tropical. Let, let me let me get this so much. It's a mocktail sweet, you know. It's, it's mocktail? Frozen. Yes, please. frozen. I like frozen. Ah, you know my taste. <laughs> Thank you. I like how you know my taste. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, so wait, which one did you say it was? Ah, that's the survivor. A mix of the uh, survivor. Mango, passion food and, and the coconut. And coconut. Very nice. yeah, Yo. It's very sweet. Okay. Like, it's sweet and it's frozen, you know. It's What's frozen? strawberry power? Yeah. The strawberry power is... Um, it's, it's in the form of water actually. Nice. 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 Okay. Because this is too sweet. So I wanted something to dilute it. It's actually really good, you guys. Okay, yeah. Take it down. Nice. I don't know what to get. Did you like it? It was terrible. The base that they used was barbecue sauce, not tomato sauce. Oh my god, I must be done. He says this is outstanding. So let's see how it goes. This is the chicken and fries. Crispy ball. Crispy ball, okay. Crispy ball. I've been eating this for an entire... I'll be the... You've been eating this every damn day. So me here. I don't know if this is blurry, but it looks blurry here. But anyway. <sighs> Guys, I'm annoyed. Uber in Ghana. Uber in Ghana. First of all, let me give you a recap of the other night so the fashion show was amazing i realized that every time i'm like vlogging i don't close out with you guys and i'm like no girl since you're gonna be vlogging a lot this ghana trip and you're not gonna wait until you get back home months later to drop the videos since you're gonna try and drop them month or at least bi-weekly while you're here because i'm here for a couple months i'm like you need to close out these events so the fashion show the on the runway fashion show was actually pretty lit it was really really good as you guys can see there was a lot of brands a lot of lines i think my favorite one of my favorite lines was um uh oh, shoot i'll put it here but i just thought it was so elegant even though i'm not really necessarily that super elegant girl even though i can be um but i'm not like super elegant all the time i really really i don't know as i'm getting a little bit of older i'm really appreciating like these very reserved yet sexy looks very olivia popey but feminine and um uh, flirty love it um what else did i show you the food at that restaurant with eve 
like we did, I didn't get to try much, but what I did try was actually really good. That like fries and chicken on top with um, coleslaw. It was like a cool. It was yummy. Um, I didn't feel like I got to eat anything of like true like you know like rice and chicken. I feel like <laughs> I know it's not just Jamaicans, but I think a lot of cultures. I think we just. We feel like if we didn't have something hot like rice and chicken, we didn't really eat, right? That's how I felt. But it was good. Um, I'll be back for sure because the vibes are nice. Um, but yeah, right now I'm waiting for an Uber. It is 3 p.m. I woke up a little late because me and Babe were up late last night. And I was editing because, you know, I still work while I'm out here. Um, editing a campaign for Google and the Raptors. And then also editing another holiday campaign for Roku Times Daddy's Kitchen. So finish all those up. And now I'm hungry, man. It's 3 p.m. I'm hungry. This is the sixth Uber to cancel on me. So in Ghana, Uber, they don't, they're not afraid to cancel on you. And they'll call you and be like, oh, where are you going? And then depending on where you say you're going once you order, because I guess it doesn't show them where you're going um, before you like arrive or get into the car they'll be like oh where are you going and then they'll cancel on you when you when they when you tell them where you're going and say they don't want to go to that side of town like it's so bullshit so I'm my fingers are crossed right now for this last this is my seventh driver and hopefully he doesn't cancel last minute he's five minutes away I'm waiting <laughs> I'm ready my bag everything um, I'm going to Cocoon because Cocoon I feel like is one of the places that have the best breakfast in my opinion like the best English type breakfast because um, I love being English breakfast honey I love some big beans and some some eggs oh, no, oh my gosh they have the best scrambled eggs oh my god I'm so excited to go anyways yeah and then today I'm meeting my friend my TikTok friend slash IG friend Jenna who I've never met before in person, but I've followed her on TikTok because she literally has dominated the Ghana like travel space on TikTok. Not dominated, but she's very popular. She's an Asian girl. And um, she seems really cool. And now we're officially like linking up. And when I found out that she was from Toronto, I was like, what the hell? And she lives in Ghana. She's been living in Ghana for a, year, a couple years now. So I'm like, let's link. You know, she seems like great vibes. She seems like a sweet girl. So she called me up today and she's like, hey, like a company um, invited me to do a wine tasting and food tasting at their restaurant. Um, I wanted to know if you want to come. So I was like, oh my God. Yes. One of the biggest things for me right now in Ghana is like, making like true friends and community of course i have eve of course i have rini of course i have adra those are my girls i love them to death but like i feel like if i'm going to live here part-time in some type type of way i want to build my community and i feel like over the last three years i really have been but i'm just being more um open to like you know linking up with girls who have different maybe interests different culture different um outlook on how they're experiencing ghana so i'm excited to link up with her and her people today hopefully it's a vibe i will let you guys know honestly okay um guys the uber still says five minutes away since i started vlogging this with you guys it's been saying five minutes away it's still friggin five minutes away he better be out of light or something because i'm pissed anyway so yeah, um, we're going to link up tonight at around 7. So I'm trying to rush over to Cocoon so I can get something to eat. Because you know, you know why I'm going to people that I'm know, You know what I mean? Whenever people invite me to anything, I try to eat my belly full before. Because you just never know. You never know. A restaurant might be saying, oh, we're going to take care of you. And then they give you like two spring rolls. And you're like... So you guys know I'm daddy's data. So I'm afisato. Also, let's talk about these lashes. Okay, let's talk about these lashes. So, this year I've gone on a quest in Toronto to find an, uh, a lash tech, like a great lash tech. For years I never wore lashes like this because I just felt like my eyes were too sensitive for it. 
but now that I'm just like so over the strip lashes and sweating them off and like I have super sensitive eyes I found that whenever I would be playing around with adding the glue and the whatever it just was a re recipe for disaster because now I'd be crying and then anything that I did under my eyes is ruined and then that would just piss me off so I was like okay if I could somehow get individual lashes that work for me that don't go all the way down here because I find that when some people do your lashes all the way down here if your eyes are downward then you look like a puppy dog and oh my god the worst thing ever happened to me earlier this year when i had a campaign um with adidas like a national campaign with adidas right all of the images were of me with my eyes looking like a damn dog okay because it was like one of the first couple times that i did it and I didn't realize that I had to let them know, okay, my eye shape is different and I want my face to go upward. So what I need you to do is not take the lashes all the way to here because then I'll have a doggy look. But if you stop a little earlier and give me a little like hook, then I can have, you know, like a vibe. So whatever, that was like my biggest issue. But then I realized, how are people paying for this service if all the lashes are on the floor in two days? I just never got it. So I was like, okay, maybe some people, then people were like, oh, some people are good on retention. Some people know how to make sure that your lashes last. Some people this, some people that. Oh, it depends on how you wash your face. Oh, blah, 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 blah. No matter who I went to, babe, no matter who I've gone to, the lashes are on the floor. Maybe some people last a week, but so many of the lashes are gone. I'm like, this cannot be normal. And everybody's like, yeah, it is normal. Like, um, and then some people will be like, no, my lashes last. I know how to keep them, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, what am I doing wrong? You know what I mean? Cha, I was literally, like, right before I left here, like, say, okay, so last week, um, I got here. So today's Monday. Last Monday, I got my lashes done. I was coming to Ghana on Wednesday. From Monday to Wednesday. What is that, guys? Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. From Monday to Wednesday, more than 50% of the lashes were gone. And this is no diss to any specific lash tech because I'm not even gonna tell you what lash tech it was because I've been trying a whole bunch of different ones. But from Monday to Wednesday, my babes, more than 50% of the lashes were gone. Like the same day that I got them done, I remember just being in my washroom and just being like, why are they all falling out? Like $200 later, no saw, no, 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 no. I was like, I think this, this is a, this is a habit that I'm just no longer interested as much as it's like, it has you waking up beautiful. I'm like, no, I don't want to spend that kind of money. I don't like to waste money. Right. So because I got here on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? And I had an event, the fashion show. I was like, I need to fill in these lashes because I look like a bald eagle. Literally, it was like three lashes left in the middle. It wasn't even a week, okay? $200 later. And um, so I'm like, let me just go to this place that I've been meaning to go to called Allure Bloom in Ghana. Um, last time I came, I tried to go, they said they didn't have any lashes in my lengths. They only had like 19 and I'm like, I'm not wearing those ghetto lashes. Like, me now we are in the ghetto lashes then. I need a nice, cute, short, elegant, you know, vibe. You know, I'll, I'll compromise and do like a 16. Maybe like a, you know, the most, but I didn't want to be having all 19, 20, all these lengths, whatever. So whatever, I didn't do it. This time around, I'm like, let me go. Make an appointment. The owner says, come in, go in at 10 o'clock. They're doing my lashes. Took a little longer than I expected. Normal, normal, but I, you know me. I just, you know, impatient. But took around like two and a half hours, I want to say. But bruh, to my flipping surprise, Surely I thought that these were going to be the same situation and I was going to be like, okay, in a couple days they're going to be off. But at least I could, for the, for the event that is highly, you know, televised, I can look like somebody data, right? Bruh, my lashes have not budged. A one-two lash has fallen out, but my lashes are in perfect condition. They literally have not fallen off. And I... I could cry. You want to know why I could cry? Because I want this experience in Toronto. I don't want that every time I come to Ghana, I realize I can only do my hair here. I can only braid my hair here. I can only get my lashes here. I can only, like, 
what is going on? Are they scamming us in Toronto so that we can come back every every two days? Like that is if that's the case, you guys need I don't know. I don't know. I almost want to ask the lady what glue she's using. I really, really want to know what glue she's using because my lashes, you guys, have not budged. I am so happy about this experience. So if you're in Ghana, Allure Bloom. Allure Bloom in East Legon. They're it. So we're here at Cocoon. Let me show you guys. yesterday at Mocha's but it's more of just like a regular drink but it's nice it's fresh and I love pina colada anything that's like a version of pina colada but then like also strawberry this is a nice take
Thank you. You have a great day. Take care. Yes, I'll see you soon. On the phone with Bay. Also waiting for my Uber. I'm vlogging, babe. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. Look, 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 look. In order to withdraw and pay cash. But I'm waiting for uh, my Uber should be here. Do you want me to call you back? 21. Oh, got him. Uber is here. Let's get in the car. Hello. Babe. I'm in the Uber. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm going home. But I'm probably gonna be leaving. I'm gonna probably leave out by 6:30. Okay. Okay. Well. Love you. Okay. Bye. Yo, my pretty little Bobby. Let me call my man and let him know I'm leaving the house. Cause you know, he likes to make sure I'm okay. Hey you guys. I was talking about you before I Yeah, got okay. Home. I was like, I've been following her on TikTok and we're becoming friends now. So I'll make TikToks so you make YouTube. Yes, okay. okay, so wine tasting guys, wine, wine tasting. tasting. We're at, it's called yeah. Vina Kapoor. Yeah, Vina Kapoor. Okay, perfect. It's just us, it's like a private. It's private. I know, it's a private one. It's private. <laughs> okay, I'm loving it, I'm excited. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So guys, we're here officially. The ride was difficult because like in Ghana, sometimes the, the GPSs and everything, they don't pick up on like a lot of the new spaces and whatnot. The girl is glowing. <laughs> You guys cannot deny it. Not a, not a drop of makeup is on my face, by the way. Period. Just lip gloss. Um, but yeah, so... I thought that we were going to be here with like a bunch of people, but I think it's really cool that it's just going to be her and I in this whole space doing a private wine tasting. Period, Pooh. This is the life that we deserve. You know, way too sexy to go unprotected. And she popped the test and now she gonna let you Okay, alright, that's fine, okay Think we got too sexy for that metro housing Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000 Sex, you need more things in here, I like it crowded Yeah, I like it crowded 
Oh, you like the boy? Well, tell me what you like about him. You a chart a little thotty, ain't no wife about it. I'ma fuck her friends and send her back to Metro Housing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I was like, kind of worried, but when I got home, yeah, no, it's very pretty. Wow. Hello. This is Sasha. Hi. Sasha. How are you? Oh my God. So cute. Oh, wow. I'm too sexy for this sir. Too sexy for your girl. Too sexy for this world. Too sexy for the life. Too sexy for that jack. Yeah, yeah. In Slovenia? Yes, it? it's Slovenia. Mm. I have a piece. Mm -mm, I'm gonna hold this in my hand. I've been told to have some of the wine now with it. Compliments each other very well. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is our second glass. Mm -hmm. It's a Merlot, mm -hmm. and we finally get to try the cheese with it. You guys know I was ready for that. There's, there's, I know, I was There that. is like completely, uh, what is it, organic yeah. olive oil? Well, yeah. It's the real deal. And blue cheese. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I love some cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we are moving on to white. Can you say that one more time? We are moving on to white. Chardonnay to be Chardonnay exact. Chardonnay to be exact. <laughs> Hi, oh sorry. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sasha. And this is our second drink. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. Grocery shopping. Oh, the, uh, I'm doing grocery shopping this week. I'm excited. And then the one you went to. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Was like a, a fair or something. Oh, across like. uh, Good Market. Yeah, and then well, the the mm. one I really like is the one with your pants. Like, oh, you got a shop there. Mm. This is really so good. Try this cheese. Try the brie cheese. Yes. Okay. We're gonna try. Some brie cheese, you guys. Can you say that one more We're going to try some brie cheese. Okay, brie cheese. Me too. Wait, cheers. Cheers. That's pretty. That's prettier than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you guys, honestly, I think the blue cheese might be my new favorite. Right? It's my new favorite. From not liking blue cheese to mm -hmm. feeling like it's your favorite now. Mm -hmm. But I think complimented with the wine. Yeah, oh, complimented with the wine for sure. Changes. Oh, and the wine now. 
Mm-hmm. Nice. I love it. <laughs> Jenna says she's used to shots. She's like, he's like, slow down. Yeah, because I taste it, feel it, smell it. Yeah. Very sweet. This is one of the best for the ladies around. I don't okay. know why they like it. The ladies like this stuff. Yeah, they love it. Mm -hmm. They love it. And I'm pretty I like sure. Sparkling anything? Sparkling rosé, anybody? We do have sparkling rosé. I'm gonna have to tell you to bring some home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delish. We need to do a cheers now. Yeah. Oh wait, we have to do the video. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. This is you know what? Should we stop introducing ourselves and make it fun like we're getting drunk and be like, this is our third drink and yeah. say it like in sync to each other? Okay, that'll be so much more fun, I think. Uh, one, two, three. This, this is, is our, our third, third drink. drink. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> 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 he started without me. She's like, do you where I'm from? Yes. <laughs> you love a good rum. Oh I really like a Wait, where did these shoes come from? I was in Jamaica like two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <sighs> Home. If you think I'm the trouble, she's the trouble. <laughs> I mean, I think we're both. Y'all, this is my, I don't know, what is this, my fifth or sixth glass of wine? I don't know if you can carry me out. <laughs> We're having such a good time. If you're in Ghana, you have to come to Vina Copper. Like, you have to. Look how cute. Oh, this is the oh my God. He gave us champagne. I love that. I love how like she knew right off the bat who's who. Stop. I'm definitely a gold girly. Thank you so much. This was such an amazing experience. This is gonna be my party trick. You know when you come in your person, you're like, bitch. I love it. This is so cute. You can use as a handbag. Oh, I feel like using it as a handbag. Yeah. Thank you, Marvin. You're amazing. Can you use your phone? Because my phone is. Why not? Yes. You owe me a coke. Thank you so much for our purses. <laughs> it was such a wonderful night. Why not? Why not? not? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> Look at my two new friends. Hi. Jay and Jenna. Look at them. Oh, oh Jay. Twenties. Yeah, literally. JJ. Yeah. J squared. And we're at number 19 in Ghana right now. I was supposed to be headed back home to get things done, but of course. They're like, nah, you're coming out with us. So, so yeah. Let's see what number 19 is saying. Because Marvin, guys, he's the reason why we're wine drunk right now. You <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. Uh, Come on. Come on. You can put a drink in there. Of course. I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being a Nikki guy. <laughs> oh. Wait. Ginger is just liquor. Ginger shot. Yeah. Ginger shot is a liquor. Wait, Jenna. Where are we going? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, I'll see ya. So I would never leave you. I was gonna tell you to come in. <laughs> you are mine. <laughs> oh my purse. Hey, that's how I'm done. Yeah. No, governor's easy.
You recording this? Yeah. <laughs> That's a street love. Yeah. So where are we going, guys? He said street love. We're we out in the streets. <laughs> we know soon we're going to Republic. We're going to Republic, they say. Um, and we're going to have ginger shots. You said the ginger shots were not actually ginger. They're just the alcohol? No, it, it has ginger in it. Is it very gingery? No, no, no. I'm scared. You're going to see it. It ain't that bad. Oh. Actually, the guy has a new. He has a new thing he had to try yesterday. You can try that. Oh. Too. Okay. Where he at? Names and faces. Oh. Oh God! But like now, where's actually? What's up, man? I was calling somewhere. We can share it. Just like check my Okay, that's here. Should I drink it? This is my first ginger shot.